I have not done anything with this house other than buy a couch since I moved in here. I've bought some trinkets here or there, but I need furniture. And I don't know if any of you guys have Googled furniture or have tried to buy furniture, but it's expensive. I went to a few furniture stores around here and for a simple like TV stand, they wanted like $4,000. I'm sorry. Uh-huh. I'm gonna go look at thrift stores. I don't have a Facebook. Can't really use Facebook Marketplace, but I'm assuming the thrift stores are the exact same. So I'm gonna go around to some thrift stores and I'm gonna try and find some cute, unique, and quirky furniture. I haven't done like a house update because I haven't done anything. Just so we're on the same page. I'm gonna show you. I told you guys I was on the phone with Ashley Furniture for like an hour and a half, two hours. And apparently it worked because they delivered my couch this week. What do we think of her? Lots of space. Why are you sitting in your kennel? Why are you in there? I have so much room to make friends and invite them over. This chair is not going to stay down here. I only had a little part of my couch. So I needed more seating. I need to figure out how to decorate this. For now, I have these Bridgerton books on display here. I don't think I showed you guys these. I would have remembered you guys freaking out over how cute they are. Candles made out of old like teacups, like, reclaimed cups. I also have this one. Gotta take out the garbage, so... Don't look at her. Got this cat tree for the cats. They are obsessed with it. Sigur sits here. Dobby sits here and Harlow sits here. This is all from Target. How cute. I also got this tray from Target. Matches all the gold hardware. Can we just take a moment? Do we see this? It's a candle, but it's also like a teacup, tea kettle. I can't even. The best thing I've ever bought. This right here is the sole reason. I'm going to go buy a table for right here. This needs its own moment. This needs to be displayed. They have an Etsy shop. Candle with a handle, people. Going every week to see what new things they have. I also got this one this week. My weekly candle with a handle haul. I cannot buy two or three cups every single week because I will be taken over by cups. I'll still probably go and look at them every week because when you find something you love, keep doing it. I got a collagen powder from Trader Joe's the last time I went. It's unflavored, so I've been using it in smoothies and stuff. Alani just sent me their collagen and it's actually flavored. Oh, that's the biggest fucking scoop I've ever seen. I can't do that right now. I simply cannot. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. I have an empty Jeep. I really think we're gonna find something. If we don't find anything, we'll just go get ourselves Dutch Bros and cry and be sad. I know thrifting is kind of like a ruthless game. People take thrifting very seriously. I'm hoping since it's noon on a Monday that everyone will be at work. I won't have that much competition. I won't have to fight anyone over anything is the goal. I recently learned that when it comes to fight or flight, I am a flighter. A public fight might not be my forte. I just got to the first thrift store. I'm not trying to gatekeep, so I'm gonna tell you where I'm going. She is called OMG, old made good. How cute is that? What am I looking for? I'm not exactly sure what I'm looking for. I know I for sure just want a table to use as a coffee slash bar area. Anything else is just bonus. This is definitely gonna set the tone of how today is gonna go. I came to a store called Thrift Smart. Found a shelf that might be cute, but I think it's gonna take a little bit more work than what I know how to do. I really only know how to use sandpaper. Do we see the vision? I could paint it any color. How would I get this in my car? I'm afraid I'm gonna back down just because it's a challenge. It's only $29. Mama didn't raise us to back down from a challenge. I've also never flipped furniture before. She's not perfect, but none of us are. We're gonna do it, we're gonna do it. I knew I had an empty car for a reason. I'm a thrift flipper. I only did the thrifting part so far. Now it's time for the flipping. I'm making this very clear right now. I have no idea what I'm doing. I didn't realize you were allowed to test out spray paint. I thought spray paint was the only option, but they don't have a single spray paint color that I like. We might have to do it the old fashioned way and paint it by hand, which just sounds like so much more work. But maybe it'll be all the more worth it. For the life of me, I cannot pick a color. Picking a color to paint it is harder than thrifting it. I didn't really think about this part. I have to get this inside all by myself. Me. I'm your superior. Have no fear. We have a furniture 
dolly. How do I get it on the furniture dolly? Oh my god. I shit myself. I almost had an accident. an empty laundry room. No washer and dryer in sight. It has been a whole freaking day. I'm putting on the teeniest bit of makeup really fast because it's gonna make me feel better. You know when you just have days where you just, you hate yourself? That's today. Since the last clip you guys saw, it's been about two days. It is now Wednesday. I went thrifting on Monday. Yesterday I thought I was gonna wake up and be over the moon about having a project. I thought that I was gonna be so excited to be painting my shelf and flipping my shelf that I wasn't gonna be able to focus on anything else. I was wrong. Didn't have the best day mentally yesterday. In fact, I sat around for a long time. I periodically was sanding the shelf throughout the day, but I ended up not doing much. Today I woke up so eager and excited because I knew today was gonna be better. Because today was the day my washer and dryer were gonna get delivered. Does it get better than that? No. They called me last night and gave me a window, eight to 12. From eight to 12, they were gonna deliver my washer and dryer. I finally wasn't gonna have to go to the laundromat anymore. I wake up, make sure everything is clean and tidy, the laundry rooms vacuumed. I I was ready. Eight o'clock, I sat down on my couch and I began waiting. <clears throat> and waiting until I realized it was now 1 p.m. For someone like me who works from home, it's not really a big deal. I was more so just wondering how long I had to sit at home. I didn't want to leave and then they were gonna come and then I missed it. So I called them. They never put my washer and dryer on the delivery truck this morning. I waited all day for nothing. I actually ended up finding out that they broke my washer this morning when they were putting it on the truck. I'm feeling kind of disappointed right now. Not in the fact that I don't have a washer and dryer. I'll get a washer and dryer eventually. Just that nobody told me. So I just sat on my ass all day again, but it happens things happen life will go on everything is going to be just fine I don't want to sit and waste the rest of my day I don't want to be crabby Susan for the rest of the day I figured I'd put a tiny bit of mascara on which automatically makes me human again I'm gonna take my dog on a walk because he deserves it and I need to get out of my house I was just gonna go and immediately start working on my cabinet. No, it's not a cabinet I was just gonna immediately start working on my bookshelf again. I'm gonna be really honest with you I am not in a good mood right now. I don't want to be in a bad mood talking and hanging out with you guys. I have mascara on now, so it's fine. I've moved on. They said they're gonna bring it on Saturday. If the next time I post a video, I still don't tell you that I have a washer and dryer, I have a bone to pick with Lowe's. I guess I'm giving you guys updates in this video. This wasn't thrifted, but how cute is this? I may not have made my bed this morning. I'm asking you to not judge me. Here's the fit. This is the Buff Bunny snack pants. These are in black. Sugar coat. They're seamless ombre sports bra. I impressed you with my heel stretch once. Can I do it again? I'm gonna put socks on. Open up our hips. I feel tighter today. I'm not sure if my armpits stink, but just in case. These are preventative measures. It's windy today. But at least we came outside. Why wouldn't you run? Are you not into running? Me either. Before you guys get to look at me, I just want to tell you that I went all the way to Lowe's to get this and I ran through the parking lot in the pouring rain. I came home to try it on and I did something stupid. What is that? The second I put this on my body, I felt like Neil Armstrong. I could not resist becoming an astronaut. So I pretended to walk on the moon and I ripped my pants. I should have known better because they barely fit in the first place. The whole point of the paint suit was to keep my clothes safe while we paint my bookshelf. That seems very counterintuitive or counterintuitive, counterintuitive. I'm very upset and my ego is hurt. I'm aware this is probably the most unflattering thing I can put on my body. I should have known better. You know what? I can only blame myself. I do still have 12 pairs of socks. 
house. I have not hung up a single piece of artwork in my house. I told myself when I moved in here that I was just gonna take my time. I wasn't gonna rush into getting any type of furniture. I really wanted to make it a home. I feel like I haven't really put that much effort into making my other houses or apartments really feel like Samantha's home. I've been taking my time, but I think I've been taking a little bit too much time because I haven't done anything in here. Today that's changing. I'm gonna hang up this painting that I thrifted. I got this from the OMG thrift store. It's an actual painting of flowers. Look at this. That's a real canvas. It says, get in, loser. We are healing and falling in love with life again. Figure if I just put this about there. That way anyone that like walks in might get curious as to what it is and comes and takes a look-see. I went and found a nail. I don't think this nail is strong enough. I might have to put two. This also might not be its final resting place. As I get more furniture, I might move stuff around. I cannot find my hammer, but I found this unused bike pump. Eyeball the middle. Marks I actually think that's the middle. I'm gonna use two because this painting is kind of heavy and these nails are the tiniest things ever. Now I'm gonna use this jar of matches. You can make whatever work. There's never an excuse to not do home improvement projects. This is a big moment. This is the first wall decoration in the new house. Great, it looks good. Sorry, your view is not the greatest. Interior designers roast me all you want, but we have artwork. Let me look at it from this corner. There it is. I'm gonna do something that might be controversial. I've decided that I can make this wall into a little gallery wall, except I don't have a lot of artwork yet. I also thrifted these. I guess we're doing a little thrift haul as we go. I got this plate that says, do epic shit. I got this that says, pray for my haters. And you know what? There are some of you guys out there that hate me. In fact, when I asked you guys as a joke to tell me if you hate watch me, some of you said yes. I know you're out there. Is this the smartest idea I've ever had? No. I think it's gonna look really cute. And sometimes you gotta take a risk. Worst case scenario is I rip the whole outer part of the wall off. I'm already painting a whole bookshelf, so I might as well repaint a wall. I don't know if you can tell my plan of action. This is what's actually gonna stick to the wall. And it's not like the plate's heavy. I did not even think about how much these command strips cost. Probably more than the plate. No going back. I mean, I'm sure it'll be fine. This guy has a perfect little hook for us. You can tell I've moved before because I'm getting way better at this. Wait, I feel like this has potential. Imagine it like all the way up. And I could even wrap it around to this wall if I wanted to. 